YouTube with the movie. It's your boy Sunset Roll back at you on the business channel. On the business tip, y'all going through these courts, man. I just got something to show y'all. I ain't turn the camera around, but um, this is a book you need to get right here by Alexander A. Bow Jr. The complete book on wills, estates, and trusts. That's the book you need to get. And we just gonna get straight to it. When y'all go to these courts, it's not judicial. It's administrative. And we'll read this in the glossary. Administration. The management of the estate of a deceased person. Um, and administrator. A, a person named by a court to handle the settlement of the estate of a person who dies without a will or for a deceased who had a will but no named executor okay then you all all these courts like probate courts now let, let's look up the term probate probate the procedure in each state required to settle legally the estate of a deceased person and transfer his probate property that's why you gotta uh, get stuff out of your name. You gotta put it over to your trust. Get the trust, get them EIN numbers. And then it's, it's one last thing I had I wanted to come to y'all with. Okay, testator, the person who makes a will. Testate, dying with a will. Now let's go to intestate. Intestate. When a person dies without a will, he dies intestate. So, those are just some terms, but you can go back here in the, um, in the glossary section when you get the book and just start reading, man, because you're going to court. Y'all think that's why they ask you, what's your name? Judge asked me, oh, what's your name? Are you such and such? If you ask a question, you already know the answer. So, y'all getting pulled over for these driver licenses and all that. Those are contracts. You know that you sign. When you sign your name or anything, put all rights reserved by it, or um, you can put without prejudice, or you can put uh, authorized representative. Don't just leave your signature naked on those contracts. You know, um, but that's the only thing they they charging you. You're not dead, but, you know, the all capital letter name is. And that's who they want you to be so you can pay the bill, you know. So when you go up in these courts, you should be taking the 1099 um, OID with you. Take the original issue discount with the W-9. Get their tax information. Report these folks, man. They, they ain't paying their taxes, but they're taking the taxes from you. And if you charge me with speeding, give me the bill. And let me see the amount on that bill. You know, how much it is, $200, $300? When you get a bill from, um, you know, light, gas, water bill every month, you have an amount on there. So when, when we be going to court for these traffic ticket violations, they should have an amount on that ticket, on that bill. And this is what it is. So we could do it on our 1099 OID and show ourselves as the payer and them as the recipient. The thing is that these folks are bankrupt. They don't have no money. They tapping into our social security account and taking the money out of there and not paying the taxes. And when we go to the court, it's tax courts and they're taking our money. So we're, we're indemnifying their claim, you know, make them pay their taxes, report them in, you know, fill out the 211 form with the 3949A. Don't be scared. You just got to do it. You should, everybody should go to court with a 1099 OID with the W9 off the bat. Hey, here you go. There shouldn't even be no talking because we the payers. They the recipient. They have the tax liability, not us. Not us. They The, the, the judge doing a tax determination up on the title 26 United States Code 2601 and 2603. You see what I'm saying? Go into the title 26 and start reading. It's all the Internal Revenue Code, taxation. You know, they try to put it on us. Let's put it where it belongs and let's get compensated for it. If we the payer, we the beneficiaries. We the beneficiaries. We can demand an accounting. Only a beneficiary can demand an account. That's it. So the judge, them, they can't go to the Social Security Administration office and get a uh, get your Social Security card, or they cannot go to the uh, st well, vital statistics and get your um, 
uh, get your, <laughs> I'll be tripping one time, and get your uh, birth certificate. That's what I'm thinking about. They can't do that. Only you can. You see what I'm saying? See, you the, you the beneficiary. So if you the beneficiary, you got to know you the beneficiary. And it's about to ask them for money. Shoot Title 31, United States Code 5118. Come on. The Gold Clause, ACR 192, June 5th, 1933. Article 1, Section 10 of the United States Constitution. And plus, these people are foreigners anyway. Once they took an over office, they relinquished their citizenship. This is stuff that we have to know. So we have to go by the game. We, gotta, we can't be ignorant and just close to it. We just got to go and do it. Make it happen. Ain't no wrong way. You just go for it. The only thing that we could do at this point is just go for it. This, you know, either we're going to remain slaves or we're going to go for it. So that's my thought to you. I'm out. Have a blessed day. Peace.